PD officer that were struck. Um, as far as civilian casualties, we have at least 21 victims, 21 shooting victims, and at least five deceased at this point in time. Please understand that this is not just an OPD and a Midland Police Department and a DPS thing. The, both Sheriff's Office, Midland County Sheriff's Office and Edgar County Sheriff's Office was involved in the, in the hunt for this guy. Um, our local school district police department, our University of uh, the Texas of the Permian Basin School, uh, uh, excuse me, police department was involved. This was a joint effort by just a multitude of, of departments to find this animal and bring him to justice. Um, at this point, I'll take questions. Suspect been identified? Right now, I'll, I'll tell you that he is a white male in his mid 30s. Uh, I don't have a positive identification on him yet. I have an idea who he is, so I won't release that information until we're absolutely positive. Are, are there any current active shooters going on at this time? We, we have we've had calls, which is to be expected, um, because obviously our citizens are, are a little jumpy after this, which is also to be expected. Um, but at once this um, individual uh, was taken out of the picture, there have been no more victims. Is there a reason to believe that there is a second suspect that is on the loose? Um, I, there have been reports that that's possible, but again, there have been no, no confirmations of that. Any updates on the conditions of the other people that were shot but are still alive? I can't, I can't tell you that right now. And, and, you know, the big thing is it's so chaotic still at the local hospitals that it's very difficult to get that information. A lot of people on Facebook are searching for family members who they probably are not able to get a hold of. Um, what's the idea and behind that and how they can keep in contact with the hospital and other law enforcement? Well, um, again, once we are able to compile a list of victims' names, we, we can absolutely put that out. Um, also, I'm sorry, the hospital has set up an area for patients' families. Medical Center Hospital has set up an area for patients' families in the cafeteria, and they do have health chaplains on staff. Um, so we got reports of two vehicles earlier today. Um, what, I guess, is that not confirmed? I, I think what... The issue with that was that you had the, the original vehicle and then you had the mail truck. Um, at one point, we didn't know that that was the same person, but that is confirmed now, same person. Anything else? Uh, do we know what kind of firearm was used? Was it a gun? Was it a shotgun? Uh, obviously, it was a gun. Um, at, at this point, I'm really not sure. And then how did the incident begin? Again, it, it started with the traffic stop, the attempted okay. traffic stop by the UPS. Uh, precautions for the pub, general public? You know, I would, I would tell people to still be cautious, still try to stay in their residences if, if all possible. Uh, we do believe that we have the threat contained, but I can't be 1,000% positive that that's the case at this point. It might be way too early to tell, but any motive that you guys are? No, no, absolutely. I, I can't tell you of a motive at this point. Do you know what the traffic stop was for? I do not. Do you know what happened to the, po the postal employee that, I guess, their truck was hijacked? At this point, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I would assume that he's, he's part of the victim list, but I'm not sure of his status. I saw an ECISD uh, bus going down 191. Are you guys using the school transportation to help the victims or patients or anything like that? Um, not to my knowledge, no. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, guys. We're going to go back to work, and we'll, we will update you periodically, okay?